everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys today we are going to make one of the most requested dolls ever really you've been asking me to make a wonder woman doll since the very beginning of me being here on youtube and i don't really know honestly why i've been waiting with this project for such a long time i don't know I was kind of waiting for some special reason, for some special occasion, for some, I don't know, special explosion of inspiration, something like this. And you know, the last week I've suddenly seen the news online that they were going to release a new Wonder Woman film on the 25th of December, if I'm not wrong, and they were going to release it both online and in the cinemas. And you know, I felt like, yes, this is it, this is my special occasion, because after reading this news, I felt extremely inspired to make a new Wonder Woman doll, really. That was the moment, that was the moment I've been waiting for such a long time, really to feel this kind of itch, when you really just want to get up immediately and go make something not something but in exactly this project so i feel extremely inspired to make this new wonder woman doll as an inspiration as the main inspiration we are going to take like the most recent version of wonder woman because you know there are lots of different wonder women with different variations of the outfit and stuff like this I have decided to take the most recent Wonder Woman as an inspiration. So yeah, that's it. Let's probably start working. I don't want to make this intro way too long because we have an extremely huge project to accomplish. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button if you're new here on this channel. I upload new doll repaint videos on Fridays, trying to do it every week Friday, but sometimes it's every second Friday. Well, the new merch, the links to the merch will be also in the description box under this video. And now guys, let's start working because it's a huge and exciting project. Oh, wait, by the way, almost forgot to tell. I've started a TikTok account a couple of days ago and I'm actually really excited about, I don't know, about this app, about an idea of making some short videos. So subscribe. I'm also Pop and Natalia there on TikTok. I don't know, I'm really excited about this new app. Yes, and now let's finally start the doll transformation. I'm going to use this yoga Barbie doll as a canvas. I think I can make her look like Wonder Woman in some way, or let's try to do it at least. So now let's quickly prepare this doll for the makeover. Let's remove her outfit, cut off her hair, and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and easily removable. I use tweezers like always to remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of her head and after this I will remove her makeup with pure acetone. Our Wonder Woman will have dark hair, so I start with covering her head with a couple of layers of black acrylics. And then I take this dark brown saran hair and I place it into the holes in her head with the help of my rerouting tool. And 
here is her new hair a couple of hours later. Now let's glue it from the inside. Then I will let the glue dry and after this we will be able to start drawing her face. But first of all, don't forget about the couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear, of course. In the beginning I'm going to sketch her face like always and then I will apply shadows using soft pastels. Now let's also add some highlights using white pastels. Now let's add some cold pink pastels, it will make your face less orange. And then I take my watercolor pencils and I draw her eyes, eyebrows and lips. I'm going to draw the eyelashes today, the falses don't look that good on these tiny Barbie faces, I attach false lashes to these tiny faces just in the case of the character, if the original person wears falses, like for example Lana Del Rey or Lady Gaga, but for Wonder Woman false lashes are not really needed. Very contrast white reflections will make her face more alive and more realistic in some way and I'm using like always white acrylics for it. You know, usually I add gloss in the very end of my makeovers, but this time, since I'm not planning to attach false lashes anyway, it means that I could apply gloss to her eyes and lips already right now, so why not, let's do it. So, here is the finished face. Looks very good and now I want to blush her body really quickly because it has to be the same color like the face. And you know already my body repainting routine probably. First of all I sand her body with nail buffers to remove this glossy top from the surface. Then I seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I cover it with the same pastels like we've just used on her face. And I use also Mr. Super Clear between the layers to protect my work and to seal the end result. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now when the face and the body have pretty much the same skin tone, I think it's time to make her outfit and this is going to be really challenging and exciting today. We will make the armor, you know, this corset with the skirt. Then we will make this arm protection, these bracelets of submission, how they call them. And of course, we'll also make a golden tiara. It's quite a lot of stuff to make, so I'm already starting with making the armor out of my favorite warbler thermoplastic. So, first of all, I'm making the very basic corset. I warm the thermoplastic up with a hairdryer, it becomes soft, then I can sculpt whatever I want out of it, and then it becomes cold, and it gets hard as plastic again. Voila, that was easy. Now let's take a pen and let's draw all the patterns like on the original Wonder Woman's corset. Okay, here are the patterns, they look pretty good. I'm also going to make patterns for the belt and for the golden top decoration of the armor. And I'm using masking tape to sketch the future details. And afterwards, I will transfer the patterns to Warbler and then later we will attach them to the outfit. So, these are the details that I've made, this is how they look, very good, but we will attach them a little bit later. And right now I'm going to warm up my thermoplastic and I'm also warming up some sharp tool. And with this tool I'm going to trace the patterns on the corset. And like this I will be able to create some sort of like padded texture of the corset. Okay guys, this is done, but now you can see that we've got lots of holes in our corset. This was predictable, but this is of course absolutely not good. And now we're going to solve it by applying an under layer of warbler to make a really nice strong armor without holes in it. And this is how it looks now, very strong armor, without holes in it, very good. So now I think we are ready to attach the belt and the top decoration that we've prepared a little bit earlier.
And guys, this is where I've ended up so far. Check it out. I'm really happy about the way it's going now because really I was so worried about this project. But now it's going really good. So the next step is attaching a skirt to the corset and the skirt I'm making out of a blue foam paper. And this is our outfit, this is it for now, probably I will let it for a while, it looks absolutely fantastic, I'm super happy and now I feel like I can move on to her boots. And here I'm going to start with creating a pair of basic high boots out of Warbler. And then I cover them with some sort of plates of armor. And here we go, it was actually quite easy compared to making the corset. So now let's also make the bracelets, how are they called again, I forgot, the bracelets of submission, yes, this is it. And then we will also make a tiara, tiara has no special name I guess, or is it, I don't know, write it in the comments if, I, if there is a special name for tiara as well.
and I'm actually using just a bottle of nail polish to build the tiara around of it. Now let's cover everything we've made today with acrylics and I'm going to apply a layer of white and black paint first because red and gold would show up better on top of these background colors. The red we're going to apply on top of the white color and the gold will show up better on top of the black background color. And now guys check it out, I have here these metallic pigment powders in the colors matching the colors of our outfit. And now I'm going to mix these pigments with the high gloss acrylic varnish. And we will cover the outfit with this metallic gloss completely to create a super glossy metallic finish. Then I still want to add some tiny details. First of all, I want to decorate the tiara with this silver star. And then I will also add a silver string to the tiara and to the golden parts of the armor. Okay guys, now I think I can officially call the outfit finished. It looks absolutely fantastic, even better than I've expected. 
Now really, I'm scared even to touch it to leave no fingerprints on this super shiny, glossy, metallic surface. Really, it looks super legit. Now we still need to make a lasso of truth. By the way, I had a big problem with the word lasso. Internet says that in American pronunciation it's lasso and in British it's lasso. Lasso of truth. So we need to make it still to complete her look. And I was first going to make it out of warble as well. But then I've decided to use this golden wire instead. Because like this we'll be able to change the position of it on the pictures. And I think it would be more interesting than just some static plastic thing. So let's make it. So and here it is, looks very good I think, so now we can finally style her hair and there will be no surprises this time guys, we're going to make just some glamorous curls today using a barbecue stick and a hot hair straightener. And here is the finished hairstyle, it looks good, super glamorous, curls, pretty, beautiful. So now let's put everything together because I still have to add this golden tiara to her head, to her forehead. And after this we are going to take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is finally my finished Wonder Woman doll. It was really a big project. I don't know, I was seriously stressing out about her outfit because I wasn't sure if I could make it pretty and like recognizable enough. But you know, when I've just finished the outfit and it wasn't even painted yet, it was just like brown warbler and all these patterns drawn with blue ball pen. My husband, who was passing by, said, oh, check it out, Wonder Woman. And at this moment, I felt so happy because I realized that it was probably gonna work if it was already recognizable at such an early stage as a Wonder Woman. So now when it's finished, it looks actually like a real poster of the new movie. She really looks like a real life Wonder Woman, this doll. I don't know, I'm happy, happy, happy today. I have no idea if the new movie is gonna be good, but I'm already so happy about the doll that it's already enough for me. 
I don't know, I think we should make more superheroes. I have no idea why I was waiting with it for such a long time. I don't know, guys, who would you love to see next? Who are your favorite superheroes? Maybe, I don't know, maybe it could be an idea for a new series slash collection, since we're close to the end, or at least good over half with our Disney princess dolls. I don't know, what do you think, guys? My mom is working right now, by the way, on a new Disney princess outfit. It will be probably for somewhere end of January, maybe beginning of February. So, guys, please let me know in the comments what you think about this doll. Also, what do you think about the idea of a new collection of superhero dolls? Yeah, and of course, hit the like button if you vote for this new superhero collection. And this doll is now available for sale on eBay, like always, for three days. The link you will find in the description box under this video. So please go and check it out if you need the Wonder Woman doll in your life. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, subscribe also to my TikTok. <laughs> yes, and I will see you already very soon next week, Friday, because next week, Friday is actually Christmas, and it means it's going to be something Christmas special. So, love you guys, see you soon, bye!